Hey guys, my name is Nasir. Hope you remember me from that retro gaming glove video. This video will be a follow up of that same project but more like a tutorial style. So you will learn how we did it, how you can do it and make it better. Now I know for a long time we have not been making many videos and our channel has been put to like sleep. But trust me, there will be a new video every week inshallah because I am here. Well, mainly because I finished my university and I wanted to do this for a long time. And by this, I don't mean punching in the air, I mean making electronics fun, learning new things, making new things, making robots, making LEDs go bling bling bling. Well, that's electronics. Now there may be a lot of things that you may not understand yet, but bear with us. There will be a new series coming soon about the basics of Arduino and electronics. In that, we will teach you every basic step of how to do it and how to learn these things. Until then, we will give you the code in the description. You can copy paste and run it too, but try to learn it. Now, a lot of you must be thinking that this is code is not right? Don't do that. So, let's learn it. Okay, guys, so the components are divided into two parts one will be the transmission side, and one will be the receiving. On the transmission side, we have two tasks. One, we have to detect the movement of the hand and based on that movement, we have to send some data, some particular data. And for that, we need the following components. So first up on the list is the uh, Arduino Nano. Now this is a microcontroller and this is like the brains of your project. I mean, everything around it, how it works, how it should work and what do you want to do when this happens or that happens is controlled by this simple device. And uh, you just write the code and you can manipulate its functionality and manipulate the operations you want to do when some condition is true like that. So that's it. Next up is the uh, NRF24L01. Now this is a transceiver and it is used simply just to send and receive data wirelessly. So you will need this in a pair. One will be on the sending side and one will be on the receiving side. And all it does, it just sends and receives data, nothing else. I mean, this is the sole purpose of this device. That's all. Okay, so next on the list is the MPU6050. Now, this is a small, cheap, yet very amazing sensor, and this was responsible for detecting the hand movements alone. So, it can detect the angular, angular movements of your hand, and it can also detect the accelerated movements of your hand. So, it's a gyroscope and accelerometer at the same time. And we'll soon make another video on this too. I mean, this it can do a lot more than what I did with it. But for now, just know that this is detecting the hand movements and it's sometimes known as the uh, inertial sensor or MEMS. Um, but if you don't write anything about it, you can ask anything about it. You don't have to detect any difference. You don't have Who cares? Okay, so next up we have the IR sensor. Now this is just simply detecting whether there is something in front of it or not. And if there is something in fact in front of it, then it will give you a zero. And if there is not, then it will give you a one. And that's like completely opposite of what it should do, but that's how they made it. Care. Next we have this breakout board and you don't exactly need this. This is optional. If you have it, you should use it and it makes it very easy to connect the Arduino and the NRF like because the NRF is a little hard to connect because it is not breadboard friendly and uh, it's a messy thing to connect the wires and hook it up but if you have this shield then just pass the Arduino, pass the NRF and you'll have to connect the wires of MPU and pass that too and just glue everything up and the glove is ready like right? so yeah that's it so yeah I connected the wires of MPU6050 and then there will be the IR sensors you have to connect the wires for those two and the NeoPixels oh, by the way I did not exactly use the NeoPixels yet because I was planning to use them and this glove was actually a project for some other robot and I just uh, used it for this project too so NeoPixels are not necessary and but you can use them to like change the lights in every combo like that I mean these lights are amazing too I love them but you can ignore them and you can see the uh, IR sensors there, wow, there's some glue on it. Um, let me show you the uh, LEDs. So you see those two LEDs, they are basically detecting if there is something in front of the sensor or not and that's all. Okay, one thing uh, you should know that the uh, MPU6050 follows the I2C protocol and this is sometimes also known as two-wire interface and uh, it is a very cool thing because you can use multiple sensors on just these two pins, SCL and STA. And we don't have to go into the depth of this protocol because there is already a library 
that can uh, control everything very easily and simply I'll show you in the code later but just know that the uh, MPU follows the uh, I2C protocol and the NRF24L01 follows the SPI protocol now again we don't have to go deep into that but uh, you should know that what protocol are being used and again there is a very easy li library for this that can handle it very well and very simply so yeah just know that the uh, MPU6050 follows the I2C protocol and the um, NRF24L01 follows the SPI protocol and yeah that you should know that okay so let's bear it and boom that's how it looks on my hand and you can see the sensors are easily accessible by my fingers and the uh, NeoPixel is on my palm and yeah that's how it looks okay so coming to the receiving side we have the Arduino Pro Micro or Arduino Leonardo and we are using this particular Arduino board because there is something special about this is that when you connect it to your computer it can literally work like a mouse or a keyboard on its own without using any external uh, like sensor module or any shield on its own and you just have to use a library which literally makes it very easy to make it work like a keyboard like a hard programmed keyboard so you have to connect the NRF24 with it and again it's the SPI protocol and once you've done connecting it and it, then it should look something like this after you hook it up and then you're done that's all you receive the data you send the commands to your computer like a real keyboard so what was actually happening is that when I was making those hand movements it was sending some particular data to the receiving side and if the receiving side confirms it and the condition is matched then the Leonardo will send some data to the laptop like a keyboard and then it would be shown in the game like in the real game and this button is used for debugging not really uh, necessary but um, now you understand what was happening behind the scene. So that's all about the hardware overview. In the next video, I will explain you the code. Thank you. Boom. That's how it looks on my hand. Hot key modeling ka muzaira kare. Aur maza uthaen.